Good morning, everyone. Uh, Sandy again here on the farm. I'm sorry you're going to have to ignore me. I've got some sinus problems. I don't know. I think this weather's finally getting to me. It's been 60 degrees for the past week. And now it's cold. And guess what? It's another rainy day. So, we just dropped the kids off at their grandma's house. Back here at the house, uh, back at our house, gonna feed the goats and their little cow here. I wanted to show you something. My trick with the bucket up on the wall didn't really work. The goats still figured out how to get in there. So what I've got now is the only way I can figure out how to do it is feed them separately. That's it. There's no other way. Not that I know of. Until this cow gets bigger, we're just going to have to feed them separately. Show you here what they've been doing and I'll show you what I'm doing now. So what I'm doing now is I have to feed this here cow outside. I run him out where he's outside of the fence. See him going through there. Navigate through this freaking mud hole. Shut the gate on the goats. Go over here, feed the cow all to himself. <clears throat> Come on, cow. Now, the reason I'm not feeding the goats and the cow the same thing, the goats get regular goat sweet feed. And sometimes we feed them some of our uh, feed that we grind here on the farm too. I kinda guess my goats need to get neglected. They kinda just get fed whatever we got. <laughs> um, however, the cow, if you guys have been paying attention and following along, is one that my dad had that just, its mama didn't, its mama wasn't doing too good. And she couldn't provide the milk and everything for it. So we brought it here to feed ourselves and try to make it grow. And it got stunted. So right now I'm feeding it like a high protein sweet feed. I think it's a 22 or 24% protein. And I'm hoping that'll bring this cow out of the kinks. It's looking a little better, but I don't know. It still ain't nothing to brag about, but seems happy. But um, these goats will push it out of the feed. And right here, this is some of our ground feed we do here. This is just shelled corn, ground with uh, a few little minerals and stuff that we've added in. Um, we'll be showing you that here sometime in the near future of our process of grinding feed. But if you might have seen it or not, I did have the goat trough, I mean the cow trough mounted over here on this fence. Well, it didn't take no time. The goats climbed up on that fence and they had their head down in it. Well, it didn't work. So then I mounted it over here. I was thinking this pole would be out far enough that they couldn't climb up and get their head in there. And that worked for like a couple of days. And I really thought I'd figured it out. Well, eventually they figured out they could climb up on this board and stick their head over into the trough. Well, once they figured that out, that didn't work no more either. So now the only way I can do it is I have to put the cow outside and the goats eat inside here and that's working. Just takes a little extra time when I'm feeding because I have to come back down here and, uh, and I'll throw a chunk of hay in. But I have to come back down here and close and open this gate back up. So I either have to sit around and wait on them to finish eating 
or I have to go on and do something and then come back and open the gate. But either way, it's working. I finally figured out how to do it. I figured that's what it would take. But uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on the goat trough thing. It didn't go as planned. But we got it figured out now. So if you do have goats and cows in the same pasture, just remember... Most likely, especially if you're trying to feed them different feeds. If you're feeding them the same feed, it's probably not, it's not that big a deal. But just remember, if you're trying to feed them different feeds, you're going to have to keep them separated. Unless it's a bigger cow. If that cow was bigger to where it stood taller, it could get its head over into a taller trough that the goats couldn't, it would work fine. Um, but that's my little tip for today. If your goats and cows are in the same pasture... Make sure you uh, feed them separately. That's about the only way I think that you can do it, especially if it's a calf and, and goats you're trying to feed that are about the same size. But anyways, thanks for watching today. Uh, you see something in the background there? What is that? Hmm. Maybe you'll have to wait for the next video to find out. <laughs> but um, anyways, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like seeing kind of stuff like this. This is just a little short video of me kind of rambling on and showing you what's going on here on this rainy morning. Talk to you later.